it's time for another request and I had so much fun putting this together and this was a challenge for me as someone ha who hasn't seen the Loud House in comparison to everybody else who um, watched most of the shows, have uh, everything memorized from the references, uh, which particular Loud sibling did what in what particular episode and uh, so, a lot of you guys out there uh, know this show from the inside out and for me this was a challenge because I only watched a couple episodes with this of the show and um, some people uh, have different opinions about it and I'm sure some people watch different shows and that's why I like doing this because I get to try out different shows and do research and watch episodes and get to know the characters for who they are and in this trio for the loud sister trio for this loud house request for you guys from the community it's Lynn, Luann, and Luna for trios and um I put individual ideas and research different ideas for all three Lao House sisters and there's way more siblings in the family in the Lao House in this giant family I should say and you know outside of Lincoln being the only brother out of 10 sisters and more and we're just going to be talking about all things Lao House in this video and all everything I'm going to be talking about is going to be in the description if you guys want to just check it out you don't have to watch the full video this might be a longer video than usual in comparison to other um, requests that I did from movesets and I think they really have a good chance of getting other characters from the Loud House in the game it's not just about Link and Loud who's in the background who has a really good chance of getting into the game because Mr. Krabs has just joined the roster recently from a couple weeks ago where he appeared in the background originally in the the bun wrestling ring so now characters like Lincoln Loud has a good chance to return and many other returning vets I would like to see make their way but now it's all about the Loud House today and um, let me know what you guys think about these characters maybe you guys would rather see other Loud siblings let me know in the comment comments how you feel and who you think has a good chance of joining Lucy Loud in the near future potentially outside of Lincoln Loud because they have a lot of other Loud siblings in the family that can be more than capable to have moveset potential and really be a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield, just like Lucy Loud is currently solo and only the solo rep in being in this game. So we're gonna start with the bat story. We did see another stage. We ended up getting, we got Lucy Loud in the game. Of course, she made her return as you guys can see, but now we only have two stages. So we're missing a Loud House rep. So I wonder who else is gonna probably end up getting into the game to represent the Lao House to join Lucy Lao and many others that could possibly be able to get in. So if you haven't watched the show and you are new to the show like me, because I found out about the Lao House because of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl from the first game, because those were the only two characters that I did not know who they were and did not recognize when all, this All-Star Brawl series started from the first game. Lincoln Lao and Lucy Lao was the only two characters that I did not know anything about. Everybody else I knew and grew up watching you know old school shows like angry beavers kablam and so much more that goes on and on that could be in the game too and you see how they made it possible so they could definitely go way back into the 90s but the backstory for the law house or just the plot in general is um the law house is about a boy who lives with 10 sisters and each episode tells a different story and an adventure featuring several of the siblings the siblings so sometimes it could be about one particular sibling um what they're doing or maybe two or three or just a couple of them not every single sibling is going to get involved with a story or with the story or that particular episode or the adventure it could be about a particular lot house member like lynn Lau, for example who's a sports and competitive character or very competitive out of everybody else in the family i'm going to be talking about that in just in a little bit but when you go and watch this show you can watch this show in any order any particular order that you want and you'll be able to basically find out different things that goes on in the house in the household and seeing the characters for who they are because everybody in the loud house in this family has a different personality and they act a certain way they 
they have different likes and interests. So you'll be able to find out about these siblings individually as you go on and watch the show. So this is just three, three other characters outside of Lucy Lau. So but with a total of four potential Lau House characters that can, well, three other characters that can get in to join Lucy Lau for this um, this request. But just more about the story I want to talk about. Lincoln Lau being the only brother or the only boy in the family and just from this sibling in the household, Lincoln Lau always finds himself in all new adventures in his day to day life in Royal Woods, Michigan. So that's basically where it takes place. And just watching the show, you can really just again be able to get to know Lincoln. You'll be able to see Lucy Lau and all the other siblings. You'll be able to get to know them and learn more about them. Or what they're really like in the household and everything is completely different and Lincoln Lau just continues to survive this family so there's just always something going on in the Lau house and when, whenever you watch the show or any episode that you choose to watch even just a snippet you just know that something's going to go down and someone is going to get into some kind of adventure of their own for the day but let's start talking about the ideas that I came up with and on uh, just as usual I'm gonna start with the stages and I think that they can bring back the Lao House. They got some amazing costumes. But they they don't have the Laos, they took it away. The only two stages is the Lao Castle. This is this is the newest stage. Royal Wood Cemetery was already in the first game. So this game, you see how this stage made its return? It looks completely different in comparison to the original OG Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. It looks way different. And it's more zoomed out, as you can see, and when you start playing on the stage. So this was the newest stage that got included, the Lao Castle. The Lao from the Lao House. But the Lao House itself was in the first game so they they can bring that stage back from the first game new and approved similar to what they did for Royal Wood Cemetery and then another additional stage I wanted to slide in I didn't really know much about the Lao Castle and where it came from I'm not sure if it's from the movie I haven't seen it some of y'all will already know where it's from but I had an additional stage outside of just bringing back the Lao House you know bigger and better and just new and approved what they did with the cemetery I went with the Royal Woods Middle School, which is where the school is. This is the school where Lynn and the other students go and doing the research and just getting to know these characters. Some of the Lao House siblings are older and they already graduated from this this Royal Woods school. So characters like Lynn still attends, attends the school, but other Lao House siblings have already graduated from the from the um, the school so but i just thought it would be a better setting an additional stage that they can throw in outside of well just bring the law house and then that's it i wanted to at least try to get a different stage and i think this is the closest thing that we'll probably end up getting for an additional stage that they would consider outside of just the the law house just making its return so I wanted to also just before I even start talking about the costumes for these three characters, for these three siblings for this request, I want to tell you guys a little bit about Lynn, Luann, and Luna individually so you guys can know what kind of characters they are because they're very different from Lucy Lau, who's the only characters in this game. So let's start with Lynn. So Lynn is she's a sports addict and she's always competitive and strives to be number one in every game that she plays even if something is not a game she's always trying to be number one in anything and um just she's just super competitive i've never really seen someone act so competitive like she is when it comes to everything she thinks everything is a competition even if it's not a sports game or if you're not playing cards at the table you know with the family that they did before that scene she wants to win at everything she wants to be the best at everything that she does and always tries to give her best so with her competitive spirit and her sports addiction and her love for, for sports i utilize that to help me create some ideas for her now we're going to talk about luann for a little bit so you guys can just get to know her as well luann is a comedian she always loves pulling pranks on her siblings 
and she's always ready to make a joke wherever she goes and she also makes puns and that's just something else that I started to learn about her and I utilize that to help with some of the reactions that she can say for some of her quotes that'll really be cool and I came up with some really nice ideas that I think the developers can use for her dialogue because Luann loves to tell jokes and she'll be telling these jokes on the battlefield just for some humor it's going to be really funny to listen to to see what she says on the field and what they use for what she can probably say and react to and Luna she's a rock star just like Ember and she also has her own little guitar and the one thing I wanted to do with her is not make her so similar to Ember so I wanted to make her stand out and be very very different from Ember Ember McLean herself she's one of my favorite characters in this game and I'm glad she made it in so she's a rock star just like Ember and um, she loves to play music she loves to create songs and things like that she's basically a rock star she's just striving to make her own music she has some really good music and I even looked up some songs and I util I even used some of the songs or even one or two of the songs that came to mind that I want them to be able to bring to the table that they can have her play and sing and perform Ember doesn't really perform in this game she only performs when she does a super but she has her own little moves as if she's doing some kind of performance or stage act for a solo things like that so that's what Luna is really all about and just being this rock star she's really cool and um, just very chill when you go and watch the show and get to know her she's all about her music but now it's time to talk about the costumes now that we talked about a little bit of the, the trio so y'all can just get to know the characters for who they are for this trio for the request now we're going to talk about the costumes and i'm going to start with um i'm going to start with lynn i'm going to try to keep the order lynn luann and Lin. well lynn luann and luna just start messing up because some of the names are almost so close to each other in a way when you say luna and luann things like that so we're going to start with Lynn first with her costumes and um, the one thing that stood out to me and I was just you know looking up just doing some research I wanted to start with the strong suit and look at the costume that Lucy is wearing the strong suit is where Lynn dresses up during Lincoln Lau and Clyde superhero fantasy in the King of the Khan Lau House special and in this episode in this episode see this actual costume Lynn well Lucy Lau is wearing the spades she's wearing her spades costume so I thought this could be something that they can use for this game and Lucy Lau has her I had to go back and look at my notes Lucy Lau has her eight of spades costume this is the name of this costume that got into the game already so they can easily make this happen for any of the Lau house siblings that get into the game so even if Lynn, Luann, and Luna are not considered and they go for a different Lau house rep or Lau house sibling they're gonna also be able to wear their king of the con Lau house special costumes and with the strong suit she dresses up like um she dresses up with like a headband with a club and um club a diamond things like that you can be able to check out this costume yourself it looks really good so since lucy Lau has her eight of spades costume then lynn's gonna also have hers and i did the same thing for the other two for uh luann and luna as well but some additional ones that i came up with for lynn her halloween movie costume they don't have that for this well in this game see her little costumes they don't have that in this game so her halloween movie killer costume lynn wears a jason Voorhees like costume and a hockey mask for for lucy's haunted maze for that little halloween special i really liked seeing that and i think there's gonna be some of the nicest costumes some of the best cosmetics that they can add in this game and then some additional ones her football helmet see how they just did this for lucy Lau. they're definitely probably at lens football football helmet it's red and white from the ruthless people episode so we're going to move on to the next Lau house member we're going to go luann for this order and i went with her pirate costume 
because she dresses like a pirate for a pirate theme when she gets a call to assist she gets a, a gig to to be the the clown or the jokester on stage to entertain at a birthday party so this was from the funny business the funny business and fool me twice uh, episode and then she also wore different several different costumes and get ups for this episode um when she performed at a as a clown she wore a yellow vest a green and white white long sleeve shirt purple pants and brown shoes that could be another additional costume i think luang luang will have some really nice costumes with these characters if she gets into the game and then she also did the joker luang dressed as the joker during lincoln and loud's lincoln lincoln loud and clyde superhero fantasy from the king of the con la house special similar to what they did with the eight of spades so i'm just going to reference this one more time for um for luna that's coming up in a bit so i think this will be really cool just as i was saying this eight of spades costume is from the superhero fantasy it'll be nice to see the joker for um Luan get in and it looks really it'll easily be one of the best cosmetics or costumes that they could put into the game there's so many other costumes for these la house characters but i don't want to just put everything i wanted to pick the best ones and when i was watching the show those look some of, like some of the best that that can really stand out that you guys will be really interested in getting and playing and i think people will pay extra to probably try to get the costumes exclusively unlocked so luna is next i'm trying to make sure i didn't miss anything so we got all we got her pirate clown and the joker costume so i gave them three each and i think i gave one additional to luna so luna's costume is next the rock star herself herself so now just keeping it on this one so luna's uh superhero or basically her special outfit from the playing card from these outfits are based on the playing card of the same name the nightclub this is from the King of the Con Lao special. Luna Lao is going to be wearing that too from her superhero costume or superhero fantasy costume. And then her other additional Halloween uh, special, the Halloween skeleton costume I put and selected for Luna, where Luna wears a black cat suit with with painted bones as a, with a human skull face paint or with human skull face paint giving her the appearance of a skeleton this was from the tricked halloween episode and then another one i wanted to slide in here well two additional ones of course with luna's headphones her purple and black headphones that she wears throughout the show that you'll be able to see it's just different things that she can wear too but in lincoln's grown-up table fantasy luna wears a sleeveless dinner gown with pearl earring, earrings and purple shoes at a tail it's from the a tale of two tables episode so you guys should be able to find that if you want so i think those costumes are really look good i wanted to get additional ones of course but i didn't want to just add too many so i just slid in her headphones as something additional so everybody else got three but i gave luna four costumes because of her bonus headphones you know because see how they had just the helmet for Lucy Lau, they'll definitely easily add in her purple and black headphones for an additional costume. But now it's time for the taunts and animations and um, just some of the things that they could probably say in in the game and more that they can do with these characters. So we're going to start with Lynn. She, she could say, all right, who wants to play ball? She's just so excited just to play sports and just get ready to play and just dominate she just wants to win all the time but winning and a winning animation um that i came up with for lynn is that lynn could throw a football down for a touchdown for in celebration and then just to match up some other additional things that she could say she'll say boom welcome to loser town population you 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 I, I even i really like i think this could definitely be able to get into the game from what she could say and it's from the episode leonard takes all leonard takes all and it's when she won the card game when they were all at the table playing cards lynn ended up winning and she's been on this 300 300 win winning streak so it's really cool to see that and just her on uh, her energy she can bring that out on the field and i think that'll be nice for her 
a nice winning animation reaction that she could do some other taunts for what she could say she'll say i never skip arm day and she could start flexing it's from the single out episode it was just so much that i found and then something else for some just a bonus a unique trios taunt that they can do because none of these characters have it you know ren and stippy have their own little this is a, a duo and things like that and then Amy Beavers, I don't really think they have a, a duo taunt, but Ren and Stippy has their own. When he says, don't make me use this, and he'll start la start laughing. They are, they have their own animations. But with this, this could be the first of of the a first for this game. A unique trio is taunt where Lin could do apology punches and she could start punching Luan <laughs> and Luna. Cause when she does when Lin does apology punches, she punches everybody in the family from her siblings apology punches she can do something like that that'll be one of the best taunts in the game and it'll be fitting for a trio and they'll all be able to come out for a few seconds apology punches just to play around on the field that could be a nice little taunt for this trios so now we're going to start talking about Luann or what I came up for her Luann loves to loud I, I said lo loves to loud Luann loves to laugh, laugh. <laughs> so I think a laughing taunt and her telling a joke will be really cool with her microphone. So, you know, jaunt, joke taunts, joke taunts for Luann on the field where she'll be able to tell jokes and you could just be able to stand there and listen to what she has to say and what joke that she's going to try to say and um, talk about just to bring humor a sense of humor to the field for the battlefield where even if you're going to get someone online they and they want to see what you're going to say what joker is Luan going to end up saying on the field this will be really fun for the developers and i think they can do this telling jokes as taunts and then she'll be like she'll be like this is bad news any way you slice it and then she'll laugh get it just how her laugh is just perfect so this is bad news any way you slice it <laughs> get it from the slice of life and every time she tells a joke she always tries to ask do you get it you know get it it'll be cool to have those kind of reactions for taunts for these characters for this trios we got a dire situation on our hands for in a crime to die for i got that from that and then the winning animation for her she can do egg juggling and then she'll say just from her quote from the Supermart episode, step right up, folks, to see some eggs, eggs, excellent, excellent juggling. And then she drops the eggs, and then she'll be like, whoops, oh, it looks like the yolk's on you. And then she'll start laughing. That'll be really cool to see. So that's why I came up with different animations and taunts for those two. Now it's Luna's turn. So for Luna, she could do a stage dive. She could do something like that because, you know, it's perfect for her being a rock star and all. So with her stage dive taunt in animation, Luna can literally stage dive forward into a crowd that can pop up to catch her. And something else that I took from the first game. Remember how you could hold the taunts with some of the characters? I'm trying to think who it was. It was with Potter Toast Man, for example. And, um... It was also SpongeBob, I think, and some other characters where you could hold the taunt down for a little bit for as long as possible. And with this taunt, with the stage die, the longer you hold the taunt button for Luna when she's playing, when you have her active on the field, you could hold the taunt button down to keep her crowd surfing. So she could be crowd surfing throughout the stage. It'll be really cool. A nice little uh, animation for her taunt. And then a winning animation I wanted to come up with for uh, Luna. So she'll say, rock on, dudes. And Luna can play her guitar and showcase her talent on, in front of the screen. Now notice, how I didn't, now, notice how I didn't say anything about a losing animation. I wanted to give them a shared trio's losing animation so they lose together. Because Ren and Stippy and Angry Beavers always lose together. So they win together. And if they win, you know, it depends on who they have. 
you who you have active on the field they'll come out but when when you lose when you when you defeat them in battle they're going to lose together so i thought for a losing animation the lao siblings cry from the pets the pets peeve or the pets peeve episode when they were all crying together so I think that's more of an ideal losing animation for them to all be able to cry together and uh, share the sorrow, I'll say. And I think it's perfect. So those are the animations that I came up with as far as the characters for the trios. And then now it's time for the move set. So we're going to start with Lin first, and I wanted to give them all their individual moves and uh, being able to be playable so something similar to how you can do you see how Ren and Stippy they fight together they're playable automatically right off the bat and they use their moves in sync striking from the left and right but with the Beavers I wanted to make them similar to this how the Beavers are because between Daggett and Norbert you have to switch between them and they'll be able to use different specific moves but the one thing that's different about the angry beavers they can call upon each other as an assist or for backup to unleash different moves so that's the one thing that they're going to still have over this loud house trio with lynn luann and luna is being able to call upon each other for help so i wanted to make them switchable and you be able to play and switch between the sisters so they have their own individual moves when depending on who you take control of so I wanted to start with Lynn. So I gave her the loud rebound. I call it this move, the loud rebound. And I wanted to make these moves reference to what they say and an ideal name for their abilities for the battlefield. And she say loud rebound. She threw it. She did that with, um, I think when Lynn was throwing the eggs and um, tossing the football. When she threw it, tried to throw a quarterback, you know, quarterback throw, loud rebound. So this will be something that she can actually say when she uses this move. So it's a projectile attack. So Lynn can toss a boomerang across the screen in a 4360 motion, and then it can return to Lynn. And I got this from the Pop Friction, the Pop Friction episode, when she tried to get the comic, help Lincoln get his comic back for, uh, he, she tried to help, well, the Lawhouse family basically tried to, or the siblings tried to get the comic back for Lincoln and Clyde for the Ace Savvy contest. It was the comic contest for the Ace Savvy, and even uh, I think they tried to take it from the principal. I, I almost forgot his name, but that's where I got it from. She actually throws the boomerang from the car, from inside the car. I think that could be something that she can really throw. Her next move, 52 pickup. This is what she says in the uh, King of the Con Lyle special when she has her own. Uh, her strong suit showcased during the episode 52 pickup so when lynn with this move lynn can quickly charge forward with an enhanced strength and hit you with a devastating headbutt i think that'll be nice to see and then slap shot lynn can swing her hockey stick to knock back her enemies and then one of my favorite moves that i came up with for this for this request bring the sting <laughs> bring the sting she said bring the sting bring this thing bring this thing it's good luck for the team she can say that when she hits you with this move it'll be a three hit combo where lynn can bring out her game day superstitions with a sportsy poke combo attack go royal woods jellyfish it's from it's from the on thin nice episode when she was so hyped about the game for the jellyfish the uh, royal woods jellyfish hockey team and she brought um lola and um, it was Lola and Lana, I think it was, to come support. And she was trying to give them different roles, you know, sharing a jersey, one individual jersey together. It's good luck for the team. I think this is one of the best moves that she'll probably have. And it'll be hilarious to see. And each time she successfully finishes the combo, she can be able to basically say, it's good luck for the team. Because that's all you end up hearing when you watch this episode. And it'll stick to you. So I think that'll be something that Lynn can really say, bringing the sting with one of her ideal moves. So for Luann, for her moves, Luann will be able to bring all of her best pranks to the battlefield with laughs included. I think she'll be really one of my favorites to play. So some ideal moves that I came up with her, the whoopee cushions. Luann can toss several whoopee cushions 
whoopee cushion on traps that could cause the enemy to lose their balance and fall flat on their butts. So that will be able to cause damage. And it'll break your balance. So you try to run it. You got to watch your, you got to mind where you step. So you're going to have to probably jump, do a lot of jumping to dodge our traps. But she can set you up. So as you try to land in front of her, she could quickly place a, a whoopee cushion to stop you right then and there. And then she can just start going crazy on you. So it'll open the door. It'll open the window. It'll be a bigger window for combos and for you to be able to um, to have different sorts of uh, attacks. Like her squirt flower, for example, her own projectile. Luan can spray water on her enemies in front, in front of her using the flower on her shirt. That'll be really, I think that'll be one of the most likely attacks that she'll have for sure using her squirt flower to be able to spray the enemies. So remember when Lincoln Lao had his water gun from the first game? It could be something like that. But it's going to have a bigger range than Lincoln Lao's water gun. Another move, the Joy Buzzer that I gave Luan. If Luna successfully grabs an enemy, she can shock them with her secret hand buzzer, leaving them temporarily paralyzed. So I think that'll be something. And I was thinking about, <clears throat> I was thinking about uh, Ember's solo, when she said solo, I forgot the name of her move that's in this game. But she'll stun you like that. But it's going to last a lot longer and you're going to get shocked. So you'll be electrified a little bit. So she'll be able to do some damage on you while you're, te you're temporarily paralyzed. So she'll, she'll be able to hit you again. Something that I really wanted to make different for this character. You see how you can bring out Spunky and things like that. I wanted to make something that's worth meaning. Or that's meaningful to him. And the more I watch this show, it's just... I could really feel the the connection and the bond with her doll, this dummy, this ventriloquist dummy that she has. Mr. Coconuts. Anybody remember Mr. Remember Mr. Coconuts? I know some of y'all Loud House fans gonna know. Mr. Coconuts is one of is one of her beloved toys and her just her assistant when it comes to this, these comedy acts, these comedy um skits that she puts forward to and she even does her own little voice for Mr. Coconuts and I think she could probably do something like that when he summoned. So I wanted to do something with Mr. Coconuts. Luann will be able to summon Mr. Coconuts, her fertriloquist dummy that she's always held so dearly and bring him to the field. And what did I think about? I was thinking about Garfield's old move when he can bring out Pookie from Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl from the first game. And I wanted to give something like that with a similar effect and work similarly to Pookie with Garfield's move with Mr. Coconuts. And with him, Luann can then call him back on. She'll be able to bring him out and summon and throw him out and place him on the field. And then Luann can then call him back for a hug and inflict damage to all enemies on the way. So I wanted to make it similar to what they did for Garfield and Pookie from the first game. And I think Mr. Coconuts is a nice touch to Luann's move set pool or her move pool. Mr. Coconuts is the dummy that she owns in the show. And she was given this this dummy or basically this doll or toy from um, the creator himself, which is awesome. So I wanted to add that I wasn't going to put him in, but I wanted to do something a little bit different for her. And last but not least, we got Luna the rock star. So she's going to really be able to turn things up and she's going to be really dangerous as well. So the first move a little bit different is called tune up that I call this move. Luna can start playing her guitar. Let's put it on Ember since we talking about the rock star herself. So let's just let's just put it like this. Put this one on. But with Luna being a rock star, I wanted to make her a lot different from Ember. And I tried super hard to for this Musa. I don't want to make her too similar. This technique, tune up, Luna can start playing her guitar and sing to build up her rock meter. This move won't inflict any damage at all. And with this, during her tune up, she's going to be able to play her special song, Play It Loud. When she starts playing this and i wanted to give her a meter also i don't want to call it a cheer meter like embers i gave her a rock meter 
So with this, while she's tuning it up or tuning up the band or tune up, her rock meter is going to start filling up. And with the rock meter mechanic, uh, as the hype meter builds up, Luna begins to glow and eventually plays her guitar faster as it builds up. And if it reaches maximum, multiple musical notes can be fired quickly in three different angled directions. The more Luna plays, the note, the more Luna plays, the, the notes are created to deal significant damage. So the more she plays, the more notes are going to be able to be created. And the longer she plays, she's going to be able to create more notes while she's standing still and they're going to deal significant damage. So you think you're going to just jump over a, a, a or just block a, a just an individual note. Remember when she says um, when she fires like a projectile, for example, with Ember, I was thinking about her moveset. She fires only one projectile. But Luna's going to be firing multiple, not just straight across. She's going to fire on diagonally and even more in the air and around her. So you're not going to be able to get away with this, get away from her that that easily or basically be able to approach her because she's still going to be playing her song. So you're going to have to really approach quickly. Do you want to block, use your shield, or do you want to try to use a slime version of your move? Or try to use your recovery to get behind her? You see what I'm saying? So you're going to have to do something and just play strategically and you don't want to let her get her hype meter or her rock meter up because she's going to continue to play her song and perform she won't be easily to get approached you won't be easily to it's not going to be easy to get close to her while she's playing so i wanted to use one of her songs that i really like her music her music is really good you guys gotta look if you haven't listened to any of luna loud songs you can look them up right now play it loud it's one of my favorite songs that i got to listen to while working on this i had fun and she has even more incredible songs whoever voiced luna loud did really good for this show just all that talent with all she's seen so she can definitely they can definitely implement some of her music in this game for this so i think it'll be really cool to see her next move is called electric soul so Luna can get into the groove by moving constantly in motion while playing her guitar on the stage. Enemy, any enemy she touches will be not back. So she'll be playing. See, she'll be on the move. Ember is not doing that on the field. She'll stop. She'll only play a couple notes. She'll play a, a couple uh, tunes. That do 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 do. It's like a forehead combo. But Luna's going to be constantly on the move playing and you will be able to control where you want to go. You can go to the left while she's playing her guitar. So she'll be sliding across the stage. And I was thinking about Gerald's skateboard. See how G uh, Gerald skates? He rides the skateboard across the stage. She's going to have that similar slide. You know, not the slime, but the similar slide sort of movement. See how fast that skateboard is? Luna's gonna be moving just as fast as Gerald moves on the skateboard while she's playing her guitar. So if she touches you, she's just gonna instantly end up knocking you away while she's playing. So definitely watch out for this move. And then solo center stage, her next move. Luna can feel the energy from the crowd and takes on a solo of her own by lunging forward with her guitar sliding, sliding on her knees for a huge knock, knock back. I think that'll be really cool. And then I wanted to name one of her moves another song that she performed. It's called Life is Life is But a Dream, which is one of her lyrics. Life is but a dream when she was singing. From the camp episode when they found Captain Kit's Captain Kit's hidden stash of treasure. So I called this move Life is But a Dream. Luna Lau can elevate her voice, creating a loud force to damage and repel enemies. So I was thinking about how Jimmy Neutron's, I forgot the name of the, in, the, the invention that he uses. It seems like this needs to be definitely fixed. It's with that push that he has when he charges up. I, for, I don't know the name of the uh, invention that he uses, but I think they turn it down. It's supposed to push you away. It's going to be way better than Jimmy Neutron's invention. So with these sound waves, life is but a dream. She'll be able to knock you back. So she's on the... If she's on the edge, she'll be able to use that and just start singing and push you away even further. For characters that don't have that good of a recovery, like LZ Gray, for example, he won't be able to handle that. He won't be able to stand to stand the music. So I think it'll be really good against some of these characters. 
And now, lastly, the recovery move. Notice how I didn't mention that for none of the additionals. I gave them a trios recovery move. And um, the one thing I was thinking about is that Daggett and Norbert have their own individual recoveries, but they don't recover together. They have to find a way to get in to the stage themselves. Daggett has a way better recovery than Norbert does. But you could still be able to switch between the barriers if you can in time to get back into the stage. But it's different for them. For this Loud House Trio, a trio's recovery move called No Loud Left Behind. And all three sisters propel upward, upward and join hands in a skydiving formation to land safely. Now being open and honest, remember if anybody played anybody played Sonic Heroes, when you had Knuckles and uh, Omega and all those different uh, other characters from the power team, whoever was the power character for those teams, they would join hands. So I wanted to do something like that for the Loud House Trio. It was tough to really come up with some kind of recovery because I don't want to give them their own individual recoveries. I wanted them to be able to recover together as one. So remember how you just go up those vents and those fans from Sonic Heroes for power in the power formation where you're playing as the power character to take lead. They can join hands in the skydiving formation and they can still be able to hit you upon contact. So you can't really edge guard against this sort of kind of recovery. So, you know, it'll be perfect. I think that'll be a nice little recovery move that they can do for this trio if they come out with three of them at once. Now, this was another tough task. This is the last one for this, their super or their ultimate attack. It's called Let's Get Loud Together. I wanted to just call it that. I thought it'd be something cool. <laughs> as cool as possible. So with Lynn, Luann, and Luna together, the three Loud House sisters, Lynn, Luann, and Luna, will attack all at once. Lynn will unleash her competitive spirit and tackle all of her enemies, and she'll be just flying across the screen with super speed. Luann will automatically trap the entire stage full of her pranks, including flying pies across the screen, whoopee cushions already set in place, water balloon traps, and more while she laughs. And then with Luna, she will be able to create large sound waves from her speakers as she performs nonstop, becoming invincible until the slime bar is completely depleted. So you're going to have to watch out for all the traps. You, there's basically no escape. <laughs> just with, with, with their super, their supers. And just like I was saying before, none of these characters have a, a super or ultimate attack where you can actually take control of the character manually. They should definitely consider doing that for some of these characters because once you use a super, whether you hit or miss, that's it. The slime bar goes away instantly right off the bat. Whether you, you hit successfully or you missed with your super or your ultimate attack, it just goes away. So this will be perfect for them because the, the characters can be on the move while playing on the field. See, like for Jimmy Neutron, for example, remember when he went, no, Jimmy Smash, that could have been something that they could do, have him become move, just on the moon. They could have did that with his sewer. That's what I thought he was going to have. But they just added his costume. Jimmy Smash, he could have been on the moon to manually be controlled by the player. So I wanted to do that for these, this trio. So regardless of who you're playing as they'll be able to be moving and luna's still going to be going crazy on her guitar and playing those tunes and the whole stage is going to be completely trapped so you basically got to pick your poison do you get hit and get tackled to death by luna or by on um, by land do you hit several traps that does significant amount of damage and can send you flying and packing with uh with, with luan's pranks or do you just face the music with Luna just going crazy with her guitar performing. And you can't hit them because they're, they're going to be invincible during their super. So the, the slime bar can just drain. That's something that they can do for this game, for these characters. This, this request was tough. It was something new for me, something different, and someone that's new to the Loud House series. And I didn't know as much as I did before I started working on this. And now I've gotten to know most of the siblings in the family at least with these three on um, the most 
that can possibly join Lucy Lau outside of just Lincoln Lau. It's not about just Lincoln Lau making his return. It's other siblings that can be able to join, you know, with him and others that can get considered in the family because this is a big household of characters with so much potential.